General Pipe Cleaners Super V. The right machine for clearing sinks, tubs, showers, and other small drains. This video gives you a general overview of the operating instructions and safety procedures for using the Super V. It is not a complete list of all the recommended safety procedures and will not provide specific instructions for every application. Ask your dealer for a complete list of safety procedures. He can also give you more specific instructions to solve your particular clog drain problem. Disregarding any of the safety procedures while using the Super V can result in serious personal injury or damage to the equipment. To determine whether you are using the proper drain cleaning tool, you must first locate the source of the problem. If the clog is in a small drain line like a sink drain, tub, or shower, the Super V is the appropriate tool to use. If several drains are affected, then the blockage is probably in a larger line common to those drains. If this is the case, the Super V is not the right tool for the job. Consult your dealer for a model designed to clear larger drain lines. The Super V provides a safe, clean way to clear small drains. However, as with any power tool, certain safety precautions are necessary. Remember these safety rules as you operate the machine. Check the power cord to make sure there are no cuts or frays. If the Super V's power cord is not long enough, use a heavy-duty, three-wire extension cord plugged into a grounded outlet. Do not operate the machine while standing in water. Wear leather gloves to protect your hands while you are handling the cable. Do not use cloth gloves. Wear safety glasses or goggles to protect your eyes from any debris from the rotating cable or drain opening. Serious injury can result if the Super V is operated by more than one person at a time. Never use the machine in a drain that has a chemical drain cleaner in it. Know how to shut off the machine in an emergency. Choosing the right cables and cutters for your clogged drain problem is important. Your dealer will supply the appropriate tools for your needs. The cable may have a spring on the end, or it may have a connector for attaching cutters to the end. The boring gimlet and arrowhead are good cutters to start with. The downhead boring gimlet and flexible arrowhead enable the cable to go through tight bends in smaller lines. The inch and a quarter side cutter blade is a good finishing tool. It's used to scrape the walls of the pipe for a more thorough cleaning job. Start with the smaller cutters. Then, change to the larger cutters after you've gotten the water flowing. To attach a cutter, first unplug the machine. Then, remove the screw on the connector at the end of the cable. Underneath the screw is a lock washer. Make sure you don't lose it. Put the cutter in the slot. Replace the lock washer and connecting screw. Then, tighten the screw firmly. To start, slide the grip shield forward. This unlocks the cable and allows you to pull it out of the drum. Pull the cable out of the drum and push it into the drain until you meet resistance. Leave about six inches between the Super V and the drain opening. Pull back on the grip shield until it is locked. This locks the cable into place. Make sure the switch is in the forward position. Then squeeze the trigger slowly to avoid torque buildup. Push the Super V gently toward the drain opening. When you get to the drain opening, stop. Slide the grip shield forward. Then pull a few more inches of cable out of the drum. Pull back on the grip shield and squeeze the trigger. Then move the machine toward the drain opening again. Once you get past the first bend in the line, you shouldn't have to pull the cable out of the machine anymore. Just pull the grip shield forward and move the Super V back from the drain. The cable will come out of the drum by itself. Don't force the cable into the drain. You won't clear the line any faster and you could damage the cable or seriously injure yourself. The cable must turn freely as the cage rotates. If it jams, the cable will build up torque, start to buckle, and then in the blink of an eye, twist itself into a series of loops. 
If your hands are caught in a loop, you risk severe injury. Again, do not force the cable. If the cable begins to buckle or twist, stop. Then slide the grip shield forward and push any excess cable back into the drum before continuing. Go slow. Again, don't force the cable. When you meet resistance in the line, move the cable back and forth until the resistance lessens and the cable moves freely again. Keep repeating the same procedure, slowly working the cable into the drain a few inches at a time until the line is clear. Always keep the Super V trigger switch in the forward position, whether you're feeding cable into the drain or pulling it out. Use reverse only to release the cable if it gets stuck. If the cable gets stuck, switch the motor to reverse. Pull back on the grip shield and run the machine for only a few seconds at a time. Running the machine in reverse longer can damage the cable. When the cable pulls free, put the switch back and forward. Continue slowly working the cable into the drain a few inches at a time until the drain is clear. Run water into the drain to wash away any cuttings and clean off the cable. After the drain is clear, slowly pull the cable out of the drain and feed it back into the drum. Make sure the trigger switch is in the forward position. When you get close to the end of the cable, stop the machine and pull the cable out of the drain carefully. If you leave the machine unattended, pull out the plug. If you have any questions or difficulties, ask your dealer. He'll be glad to give you further assistance. General Pipe Cleaners, the toughest tools down the line.